Hello everyone, I welcome you to this class, Lessons with Philip. Now on the board we have two questions. Now a lot of people reached out to me and they said we need more examples on this topic. Now we have two questions. Follow me as we solve it together, all right? Okay, now the first question, solution. Okay, number one, in the first example, the question says, the hitting time of an hippie is 25. Automatically, I know that my U18, the 18th term, is what? 25. Take note. Okay? Before I continue, let me just write what we're given from the question. Given. From the question, I know that my U18, that, that shows that my 18th term is what? 25. Okay, find its first term. I'm asked to find the first term, which is what? My A. When the common difference is 2. That shows my common difference is 2. And my N will be what? 18. Because I'm told that the term has 18. According to what I have, if my 18 term is 25, that shows my N is 18. Let's go. Don't forget, I said the N term. Since I'm given common difference, I've, I've been told that the common difference is two. That shows that my, I will use the formula for an arithmetic progression. My nth term of arithmetic progression is given to be a plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference. What I just need to do is to substitute the value that has been given into the formula. Okay? This is an nth term of ap that is a formula for an n term of an ap okay what is my nth term that is my 18th term the 18th term is equals to what 25 so will not be equals to what what is my a my a is what i must to find my hand is 18 minus 1 and my common difference my common difference is 2. All right? That shows that my 25 is not equivalent to A. 18 minus 1 is what? That is 17 multiplied by 2. Automatically, my 25 will not be equal to first term plus 17 multiplied by 2 will give me 34. Okay, if I collect like times, if I collect like times, okay, this will be 25. If I bring plus 34, crossing this cos sign to the other side, it will have to change sign from plus to minus. That is minus 34. It's not equivalent to E. Therefore, my A will be equals to 25 minus 34 will be minus 9. Therefore, the first term of the arithmetic progression is equals to minus 9. Do you get it? The only thing you need to do is to know what you are given from your question. Okay? Let's go. You see that it's very simple. Question 2. From this question 2, we are given the 28th term of an AP to be minus 5. As the same, the 28th term of the sequence is what? Minus 5. Automatically, the number of terms will be what? 28. I'm asked to find the common difference. I'm asked to find the common difference. If the first term is 31, if the first term, don't forget the first term is represented as A, is what? 31. I've written what I'm given from the question. So this is what I've been given. I've interpreted my questions to bring out the details that I need. Okay? The hand term of an AP, don't forget, why do I know that I need to use this formula? Because I must find common difference. The only, the only sequence that has a common difference 
is an arithmetic progression. That's why I'm using an n time of arithmetic progression, which I know the general term, general formula for an nth term of an AP to be this. Please don't forget this. This formula is very important. Very important, please. Okay? Now, my n is 28. That shows my n is 20. That shows n term, the 20th term of the sequence, which has been given to be minus 5. Okay? Will now be equals to what is my value of my a? My first term is 31. Okay? Plus, the number of terms is what? 28 minus 1. My common difference is not known. And that is what I want to find. Okay? Okay? Now, my minus 5 is equivalent to 31 plus 28 minus 1 is what? 27 multiplied by D. That's 27D. Okay? If I collect like terms, if I collect like terms, okay? That shows that my minus 5 if plus 31 is crossing this equals to, to this side, it will be minus 31 equals to 27D. Minus 5 minus 31 will give me minus 36 equals to 27D. Okay? Divide true. Divide true. this equation by 27. I want to make D the subject of the formula. And what's associated to D is 27. That's just I have minus 36 divided by 27 equals to 27D divided by 27. Automatically, this 27 will go with this 27, leaving D alone. So my common difference, which is minus 37, there's something that can go in this. Three can go in this. To give me 12. Okay? And 3 can go in 27 also. Okay? If you press your calculator, 27 divided by 3 will give you 9. Okay? That shows that together 6 can go in 27 and 6 can go in, sorry, 9. I mean 9. 27 divided by 9 will give you 3 and 36 divided by 9 will give you 4. Okay? okay? That shows that 9 in 36 will give you minus 4, and 9 in 27 will give you 3. Automatically, my common difference, and this is the same thing as, this is the same thing as minus 1 number 1 over 3. That shows that, that shows, therefore, the common difference the common difference, the common difference in the sequence is minus one on number one over three. And that is how to calculate common difference of first term or the number of terms in a sequence. If you have any question, you can send it to us and we explain better to you. Thank you so much for your attention. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.